How's it going, everyone? We live in this uh, crazy world. Uh, I saw this article. I'm going to just paraphrase. I don't want to read the whole thing because I want to get right to what I think. And you may have heard about it, but it was entitled or titled College Student Dress uh, Coded at Gym for Distracting Crop Top. A college student who was dress coded at the gym for her crop top was allegedly told the policy exists as a happy medium where girls can still work out with men. Kylie Graham, a student at the University of Prince Edward Island, described the October 9th dress code violation in a Facebook post that garnered over 1,000 reactions and over 800 shares. Posting a photo of her gym ensemble, it's a, I'll put the relevant picture within this video, take a look at it. It's not show, it's not sleazy at all. I mean, it's black pants with a black top that revealed a sliver of her abdomen. And as you can tell, it's, if this is considered a violation, they need to get their heads examined, whoever wrote this policy. So obviously she was pretty pissed off. And I think afterwards, uh, Graham responded that her shirt didn't meet the criteria of the banned items and was told, quote, okay, you're fine for today, but in the future, even see, even wearing a see-through shirt over the top would suffice. So obviously, uh, she's still pretty angry about the incident and wants answers for why the gym's dress code appears one-sided. She's also creeped out by how the staffer drew uh, her conclusions. Quote, how do you think it's okay to discuss my body with your coworkers while I am working out and then tell me you're, you, were, you were discussing and assessing me, she wrote. Women already face enough misogyny and grossness in the gym. Stop. And it just goes on and on. So this is, this is just utterly ridiculous. Based on, on, the, on the photo, I don't see how this is distracting now i'm not here to dispute if technically she was in violation of the policy because i don't really care about the policy i think the policy is ridiculous in itself so if anyone wants to disagree and say well technically you can't show any abs then technically they may be correct but to me it's a flawed policy i mean if you're if you're there if you're there to work out, you should be focused on your workout. Now, are there outfits that probably are too revealing? I mean, if a girl came in to the gym wearing a thong and basically her breasts were just in everyone's face and you you know, you have a gym where it's family oriented, I can see that. But this outfit, as you can tell, it looks, it's very conservative to me. I'm not sure why they're obviously trying to uh, implement this policy to make it, what did they say? Um, oh yeah, as a happy medium where girls can still work out with men. I mean, women and men, they can work out in, at together Anytime you go to gyms, they're not segregated. Now there are gyms like Curves and stuff that are catered towards women. And if you are uh, uncomfortable working out with men, then you can go to those, work out at home, join classes. You could do different things, different alternatives. But I feel like this policy is just kind of like fit shaming in a way. Uh, I know there's this whole thing about fat shaming, but... I, I do believe that there is some form of fit shaming and it's just very bizarre. I just don't understand where these people are, are coming from. Maybe the people that made this policy, they're insecure themselves and if they see someone that's fit and trying to improve their health and they look good, maybe they're just uh, jealous and throwing shade towards these people, therefore, the make of the policy, regardless of the motivation behind this stupid uh, dress code policy, it's absurd, it's ludicrous, and it's just downright, just, it just, it, it doesn't make sense, it's very fuzzy. So, uh, yeah, that that is my uh, comment, uh, my uh, reaction for uh, this article. 
what do you got what do you guys gals and guys and gals think of uh how she was dressed i mean in other parts of the country parts uh, or sorry other parts of the world especially in parts of europe sexuality is a little bit more relaxed uh, now I'm not saying everyone should be walking around in a thong and a guy's, you know, freaking balls should be all hanging out. There should be some level of dress code, but this to me is nothing to garner any negative attention and she shouldn't have even been cited. So that's my uh, take. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys and gals think. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.